Stoicism is a topic that has been exploding over the past few years. Due to this, there are many faceless creators that are making pages in this niche and they are making thousands of dollars per month from these pages. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how we can create our own page in this niche, all using AI. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to discuss how we can go ahead and monetize these pages. Without any further introduction, let's jump straight into it. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using my laptop, but once again, all of these tools we can use on our phone, so you can follow along from your phone. The first tool that we're going to be using in today's video is ChatGPT, and we're going to be using it to help us come up with some video ideas for our page. Now, before I started recording this video, I had done some research on some successful channels within this niche, and I've found that list videos tend to work quite well. So videos like top 10 stoic habits, for example. So I'm going to be creating a video like this for my page. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the prompt, can you give me 10 video ideas that I can make a top five list out of for my stoic themed YouTube shorts channel? I'm gonna go ahead and press enter and ChatGPT is gonna give us a bunch of ideas. So looking at this list, the one that stands out to me the most is a top five stoic role models in history. The reason I like this is because it's something that can pique curiosity for people that are interested in this niche. And at the same time, they might know these stoic role models and therefore it can cause people to actually have an input on the video and want to comment and engage with the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and this is gonna act as our hook for our video and we're also gonna use it to help us with our prompt for the next AI tool that we are going to be using. So the next AI tool that we're going to be using is a tool called NVIDIA AI. This tool is really good and basically it works like ChatGPT, but it helps you to create videos. So you just put in a prompt and it will create yourself a video. Especially good for people that maybe struggle with editing or people that don't have the time to go ahead and edit their own videos. Now for you mobile users that are going to be following along with this tutorial from your phone, NVIDIA AI do actually have an app for iOS and they have an app coming out for Android pretty soon. So yeah, once again, go ahead and download the app and you'll do it on the app rather than on the website from your phone. Now another cool feature that this tool does have is they allow you to clone and use your own voice. A lot of these channels are just using AI generated voices so if you wanted to come at it from a different angle and use your own voice then you could go ahead and do that so how you go ahead and clone your voice as you can see i've already done this here but just so i can show you guys so you can do it for yourself you're just going to press add voice you're going to press you're going to need to submit a recording of 30 seconds uh, you need to give NVIDIA AI the permission to use this voice in the workplace. So within that 30 seconds, you're just going to have to say this statement. Uh, and then, yeah, just basically talk normally. And they also say use high quality recording equipment. Now, I just use my phone to do this. My phone does have an OK microphone. It's an iPhone. So you don't really need high quality audio. Just sort of talk closely or talk into the mic of your phone. Then once you have done all of this, you're just going to go ahead and press choose file. And you're just going to grab the audio recording, press open. And it's going to start to clone your voice so we can go ahead and use it in our video. Cool. And now just the last few things, you just need to tick all of these boxes and then press my sample looks good and we're going to be able to go ahead and use this feature and just like that within a few minutes i've literally got my voice cloned of course i don't need it twice so i'm just going to go ahead and get rid of one of them now cloning your voice is a pro feature on nvidia ai but with that being said if you guys wanted to test this software out for free i'll show you a good voice that we can use to create these stoic videos in a minute that is going to be free okay so once we've cloned our voice if that is something that we do want to go ahead and do you'll just come back into the place where we're going to basically generate our video now the workflow and plugins are pretty helpful. And as I'm creating a YouTube short, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the YouTube shorts one. Okay, right, so once I've come into this workflow, I'm just gonna get it to create me a fast paced YouTube short um, to help try and keep people engaged. Everyone has short attention spans right now. So hopefully this should help keep people engaged with my video. And as for the prompt, I've just asked it to create me a YouTube short. That is a list video about the top five stoic role models of all time. Uh, I want it to be between 45 and 60 seconds. As for YouTube shorts, we can't go over 60 seconds. Now, with that being said, the more information you do give the AI here, the better a result you're going to get, like with any sort of AI tool. So yeah, try and give as much information here as you can. However, once the video is generated, we can adjust it a little bit and I'll show you how we'll do that once it's generated. As for the background music, I want it calming and stoic as when I've done research looking at these channels, they were using a lot of sort of calming music. Uh, rather than anything really high speed or whatever. You're just gonna go ahead and press a male. And then as for the voice, you're going to want to use old husky British voice. This voice is really good for making a stoic kind of video. So I'll definitely make sure to go ahead and use this. Um, and then yeah, as for the text, I want uh, subtitles to be bold with the popping effect. This should help keep people engaged. Uh, use iStock as needed. And I also want to use the best audio available. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and press continue. It's going to put the prompt in here. And once again, if you want to make any adjustments, add any more information, you can obviously do that inside of here. And then once this is done, you're just gonna go ahead and press generate video. And it's going to generate us a video around this topic. So then once you press generate, it's going to take you to this next screen. It's just gonna basically try and get a bit more information to, to make the video as good and as close to what you want as possible. So for the audience, uh, philosophy, enthusiast, or self-improvers work, however, I'm going to press self-improvers just because this should appeal to a bit of a wider audience. And then as for look and feel, inspirational works and the platform, of course, I'm doing YouTube shorts. So I'm just going to go ahead and press continue. And then it's just going to start to generate our video for us. So this usually takes a few minutes and I'll be back once it's fully generated. It generated us a video. So I'm going to go ahead and press play from the start so we can see what it looks like. 
What's something people don't know about Stoicism? It's not just a philosophy, it's a way of life. Here are five legendary figures who lived it to the fullest. One thing that's quite good about this hook is the fact that they have put it as a question. So a question is something that it can entice people and get them interested. And then we've got the rest of the video, which is of course the list of the top five Stoic role models that we did want. Now, if I did want to change anything with the video, which so far I don't really want to change anything using this prompt at least, but I can use this box to go ahead and type in what I would want to change. So for example, if I wanted to change the captions and make them a bit lower, then I could go ahead and do that. However, I'm happy with them in the middle. However, with this video, I don't really like the first clip. As I say, we're in the stoic sort of niche, so I want it to appeal to those kind of people straight away. And a guy picking up a book isn't quite that. So I'm gonna go ahead and press edit and I'm just gonna go and change this bit of footage. So I'm gonna search in Greek statue. Cool, and then as you can see, as I searched in Greek statue, I can go ahead and have a pick here. So a lot of this is really good footage for like a stoic kind of page. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this one as I quite like how it has a dark background and it's a close up photo of this kind of philosopher. And then once you've done this and you've changed that media, as you can now see in the video, it just basically puts it on top of the old one. So you can see which ones you've changed out. Once again, I probably don't really want this footage here um, because I'd rather not have a tree. So I'm just gonna go and add in another stoic statue as that is what is done most in this niche. So this looks like an interesting photo. So we'll use this one. And as you can see, it has now been replaced. If I go and press apply changes, once I come into the video, it is now gonna apply those changes for us. As you can see, the footage has now been changed out for the one that we wanted. Now, another thing that I did mention that we can do with this tool is we can change the language that the video is in. This is quite a good feature because it means that if you don't even speak another language, you can go ahead and just make a video in another language as there is less competition. So for example, if I wanted to try and grow a Spanish page, I could use this tool as unfortunately I don't speak Spanish. So I'm gonna to struggle to make a totally original video in Spanish. So therefore I can use this AI to do it for me and I can make it in English first of all, so I can make sure the video is good. And then if I wanted to, I could go ahead and use this prompt to then transfer that video from English into Spanish. So if I just go and press generate, it's going to make those changes. Another reason why I quite like this tool and why it is useful is because you can take a viral concept that has gone viral in English and then bring it to another language. Or if you're from somewhere else, you could take a viral concept that has gone viral in your language and bring it into English. And that way there's just gonna be more chance of you going viral because you've already got something that is proven to go viral and it's in one language. And now you can just bring it to a whole new audience and it should perform similarly. Cool, and as you can now see, it has changed it to Spanish. And if I just go and press play, it's done so with the captions as well. It's going to be a Spanish stoic video. So there you go, once again, same video, but now just in Spanish, which is pretty cool. However, I do want my video to be in English so I can show you guys the finished result. But I'm gonna go ahead and just press export, export video, and then as you can see, just with all of these settings, I'll just go ahead and export this video. I'll then send it to my phone and upload it to YouTube Shorts from my phone. What's something most people don't know about Stoicism? It's not just a philosophy, it's a way of life. Here are five legendary figures who lived it to the fullest. First up, Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor whose meditations on Stoic philosophy are still revered today. His ideas about bouncing back from tough times are timeless. Next, Epictetus, a former slave who became an influential philosopher. His teachings emphasize the freedom that comes from controlling your mind, not your circumstances. Third, Seneca, advisor to Nero, who taught that true wealth comes from the soul, not the pocket. His writings on ethics and reason are profound. Fourth, Cato the Younger, known for his unwavering principles and opposition to Julius Caesar. His life embodies stoic virtue and moral strength. And finally, Zeno of Citium, the founder of Stoicism itself. His philosophy advocates for living in harmony with nature and using reason to guide your life. These stoic figures didn't just teach, they lived their philosophy, offering us timeless lessons in resilience, virtue, and inner peace. Now, one thing to note here is if you want your video to be exported without watermarks, you are gonna actually have to upgrade to their plus plan, but I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. One thing that is really important when uploading to YouTube Shorts is the title. So I would make sure that my title is something that is punchy and to the point about my video to help get people hooked in and get people interested when they're just scrolling on the home feed and they see those shorts pop up. So my title would be something like the top five stoic role models, as this way it just tells you exactly what the video is about and at the same time, it piques curiosity because people might be scrolling thinking, oh, what are the top five stoic role models? I only know one, I only know Marcus Aurelius or something like that, for example. So that is a really important factor to take in when it comes to posting on YouTube Shorts. Now, all the tools that I did use in today's video will be linked in the description so you guys can go and check them out for yourself. And all of these tools can be used for totally free. However, with NVIDIA AI, if you want to actually go ahead and upload your videos, you'll probably want to upgrade to the Plus plan 
That is a plan that I do have, as if you don't have this, then your videos are going to have watermarks and things like that, which is going to make your videos not get pushed out by the algorithm, as they're going to think that the content is not yours. Now, if you guys do go ahead and upgrade to the plus version of NVIDIA AI, use code josephet 50 at checkout, as this will get you an extra 50 minutes of AI video generation for your first month. Now, once we have grown our page, how do we actually go ahead and monetize it within this niche? Now, there are a few different ways we could go about it. We could create a YouTube Shorts page, and that can actually get us paid if we get enough views from the views. However, we could also then try and transfer some of this audience into long form videos, as we know YouTube pay better for long form videos. We can also go ahead and use NVIDIA AI to create long form stoic videos. So this is a viable option that we could use to monetize our page. However, the second way is my favorite way, and that is to sell some kind of product on your page. This could be a physical product or a digital product. So maybe you make some merch like clothing or something like that, or you could go ahead and make a digital product that could be about your product. Or you could go ahead and make a digital product like a stoic ebook to help people be more stoic in their lives, for example. So we come back over to my laptop. As you can see, there is this Instagram page here called The Stoics. They have done this very well. They have 556K, and as you can see, their videos are just simple stoic kind of videos once again marcus aurelius similar videos to the kind of ones we used in this video now as you can see they are actually selling a product here and this product as we can see is an ebook and an audiobook they're also selling some wallpapers that are like stoic kind of wallpapers so another example of a product and as you can see, they're even starting their own apparel. So now they're doing some physical products as well. And I actually went and used a tool to try and take a look at how much this page was making. And according to the tool, they made over $20,000 in the last 30 days. So this just shows you guys some of the possibilities that are out there with these types of pages. And as you can see, here is a YouTube Shorts page. So this would be similar to the one I'll be trying to create. And once again, their videos are very similar to the ones that we make with stoic pictures and just simple edits with a bit of text. And as you can see, they've got 190,000 subscribers and they've even started to do some longer form videos around the same kind of stoic niche. So once again, this just is more proof that this niche is something that is doing quite well right now and is an opportunity to hop on. If you want more videos of me testing different AI tools or if you have any AI tools that you'd want me to test, make sure you drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to make a video around some of those tools. And if you did find this helpful, it'd be much appreciated if you could drop a like and subscribe as I post weekly videos helping you guys make money with social media. Apart from that, I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope to see you guys in the next one.